Hi darlings and welcome back to my makeup garden. It's Liz. Um, we're playing with the Don't Be Jelly palette today. So if you want to see how I created this eyeshadow look, then uh, you probably want to stick around. Hi darlings, look what came in the mail today. Well, not today, a couple days ago, but the Don't Be Jelly palette. It's here. I'm so excited. So we're going to look at it. We're going to do an eye look with it today. I'm not going to do the rest of my face and makeup because I don't want to. So here's this little baddie here. So look at that. That's gorgeous. So there are what? One, two, three, four, five mattes. And it looks like the rest are like multi-chromes and shimmers. Ooh, these are very pretty. I'm going to insert swatches here with the magic of editing. So swatch. swatching yep swatches so those are the swatches so we're gonna play with it today I have not played with this yet so it is she is untouched but we are going to get our fingers in so um what should we do today what do you think um I'm really tempted to use this color but I definitely want to use the matte like the sparkles so we're gonna do these two I think um maybe we'll deepen it with this don't mind my messy floor there. So we'll do this and this. We'll do this in the crease. So, yeah. So this baddie just came in the mail like a couple days ago. And this is the first chance that I've had to actually play with it. So we're going to do that. Where are my brushes? You know how like when you don't put stuff back and then you're like, where is everything? It's kind of where I'm at in the day. So hi, darlings. How are you? Now, Unearthly, I won this um, Don't Be Jelly palette on their uh, Instagram. So Unearthly had a contest, and I put my name in that contest, and I won. So, well, like a giveaway. So, all right, I'm going to dip into the shade here. We're going to go ahead and put this. Um, we're going to go ahead and put this. Oh, no, you know what? Let's not do that shade. Let's do the seafoam, literally called seafoam here. If you notice the light is changing, that's because the sun is peeking out from behind the clouds. Um, but yeah, so this seafoam, I'm not wearing an eye primer, so let's see how vibrant this color is. Let's see if it builds up all right. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. That went on well for like a first. Okay. Let's see how pigmented these are. Oh, that's going on really well. Sometimes with seafoam colors like this, they get a little bit patchy, you know? So... But this went on really well, so that's exciting. So I had no plans of getting this palette initially. Listen, I like Unearthly, but I'm not one of those people who like just goes out and buys every single thing that a brand makes because you like the brand. Um, in most cases, sometimes I will say there are exceptions, but I usually am not like that person. So I was like, okay, this color story is pretty, but I kind of have most of these colors throughout my collection. And then I happened to win the palette and I was like, well, if you're gonna send it to me. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. I feel like I've seen several colors stories like from other brands that are similar to this um, lately. And I think that's just because, you know, everything comes in cycles, right? So for a while, it was all like dark purples and deep pinks and teals. And I feel like there were just a bunch of, a bunch of palettes for a while that had those color stories. And then now I think we're moving into like this kind of a color story where you have like these, uh, I don't want to call them underwater colors, but like these kind of blues and purples and sea foams instead of teals so i'm excited for it though because i like colors like this i was thinking that this color story reminded me a lot of the the beauty bay retro palette that came out um but the, obviously the multi crumbs are so different so i like this i think i'm gonna inadvertently create a look that's gonna match my dress <laughs> This is nice. 
I'm, I'm actually really liking how this is applying because it is kind of a pastel shade. And sometimes you get like a lot of patchiness or like ex like extra powderiness with a shade like that. But this has been pretty good so far. So I'm, I'm here for it. Cool, 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 cool. I think that's pretty even. Yeah, it's pretty even. What I'm doing is I'm just making that sea, that shape in the sea foam, but I'm not gonna put it on my lid because I am going to use my lid for multi crumbs and I'm gonna put glitter, glitter primer on, glitter glue. My usual NYX, you guys know. I'm just doing like little sweeping, like little circles on the edge just to kind of diffuse it out a little bit. Hmm, I like how that's looking, okay. So we're gonna go into this shade here. Um, what's it called? Sea Star. So we're gonna go into Sea Star. Um, and I'm gonna place that. Oh, I already dipped in. Okay. I'm gonna place that on my outer corner here. And I think I'm actually just gonna use this as my deepening shade. I think I wanna kind of keep things a little bit lighter today. So mm, I don't know. Sea urchin is tempting. So it's funny, this shade right here, sea urchin, it kind of looks brown on camera but in person it's very much like a deep purple so just okay let's see come on layers the pigment there you are that's pretty let's see if it gets muddy with this other like sea foam color hmm. i may change brushes we'll see see there is a good bit of fallout with that shade it might be i don't know if you can tell there but that's okay. As long as the pigment goes on and it goes on well, it'll be fine. I'm going to just bring that a little bit. I'm not going to do a, a spotlight, but I do want to do a little bit on the inner corner just for a little bit of definition there. So, all right. I'm liking how this is looking. I think that may actually be, oops be just enough definition. I don't like what I just did there. All right. I'm just dropping things. I am failing miserably today. I'll just tell you. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more of that sea foam in because I don't like how I I don't want to say polluted that seafoam color, but for lack of a better word. Okay, let's see what's going on this side. My perfectionist type tendencies are really struggling. This shade is not wanting to apply with this brush, which is this, I use this brush a fair bit for this area of the eye. These are the Blend Bunny um, brush sets. I've really enjoyed having these. They, if you have hooded eyes or like small eyes, they really are, they're worth every penny. They're so good because they just fit, you know? I don't know. See all this fallout? Yeah. Now I'm not planning on making this a halo eye, but I'm kind of making this a halo eye, but not, not, you know, I don't know. It's that kind of a day. Okay. So far, I like how these are applying. I think that the look I've created so far, obviously this is not right, we're gonna fix this. Okay, and I kinda wanna go out, sweep it out just a little bit, okay. It's pretty close in shape, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit more of that right here on this outer corner. I feel like I'm having a hard time seeing today. You know how some days you're just like, I don't know if you're old like me, but you're like, what's that? What's that you said? Okay, I think that's gonna be good enough. I think if I add any more, I'm just gonna mess it up. Let me go ahead and clean up my cheek real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and put glitter primer on. I used the NYX glitter glue and I think I wanna go into this shade right here. This one is called Hydro Space. I kinda wanna put that all over the lid. I think I'm gonna try applying it first with a brush just to see how it does. Um, 
and then we'll see if it doesn't work I'll use my finger so let's see I'm gonna go into hydro space because it's like a pink and purple shifty one and I think that would look really nice with this um did that come on the brush let's see I am using um the this brush right here this one is by Artitude Cosmetics which in one of my videos last week, I just called all of those brushes Artemis Cosmetics. And I was like, where the hell did I get that name from? Like, not even close. Well, this is pretty. I actually think it's prettier in person than it is on here. Now, it is applying smoothly but with a brush, but let's see how it applies with the finger, too. Yeah, it's pretty. I like it. It is definitely more vibrant with the finger, of course. I find that applying shimmers like in general is more vibrant with a brush or with a finger, but that's cause you have to think like it's denser, you know, the more dense it is, the more product it's gonna pick up and, and place over there. So and I'm just gonna tap that on. I like that, it's pretty. Sometimes with these multi-chrome type shades, when you're looking into the camera, it looks like it looks gappy or like it's patchy, but in, in real life, it's not. It's just how the light is catching the shade. So this is really pretty. I like this shade a lot. This is really pretty. All right. I am using the mirror in the palette to apply everything, just FYI. Between that and actually looking at the camera, so this is pretty. I like this. Mm. I definitely need to put some, I think, here and then bring it onto that purple. Yeah. Sometimes when you look at things like proportion, it looks different in person than it does on camera. So like how the light is catching this, it doesn't look like it's all the way to the end, but it actually is. This is pretty, oh, this this shade is gorgeous. <laughs> like, you saw the swatches. I don't know if the swatches really do it justice though. You know, and honestly, swatches aren't the indicator. It's how it performs on the eye that really like, you know, is an indicator of performance. Okay, so these are on. I think that looks really pretty. I kind of want to just take that same purple shade, um, Sea Star, and I think I just want to run it on the underside of the lashes here. And maybe we'll just do a pop of another color on the inner corner there. Yeah, that's really pretty. So this purple. Um, Sea Star, when you diffuse it out a little bit, it almost has like pink undertone. So like underneath the eye, it actually just, like the pink of that multi-chrome is really playing off of the pink undertones in this shade. It's really pretty. Very pretty. Oh, I, I'm digging this. I am digging this. La 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 la. So thank you to everyone who entered my giveaway. It is now closed. I'm going to pick a winner later today. Well, the computer is going to pick it. I'm just going to input the information, but yeah. Oh, that is very cute. We like this journey for us. Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. So I'm going to do lashes. Actually, I'm just going to do mascara and some liner, and I will be right back. And then we'll go ahead and do finish the inner corner. And I'll give you my thoughts. All right, darlings. So I went ahead and put my Lash Paradise mascara on as I drop it. Uh, I have a black uh, water, uh, like in my tight line on the top. I have a black um, by Unique, a black eyeliner. Sorry, the word it was escaping me. Uh, and then I use the ColourPop Icebreaker on my waterline here, which I always feel weird. Does anybody else feel weird when you put like a really light color eyeliner on your on your waterline just me I don't know it just feels weird I'm just not used to seeing my eyes that way so I usually do like a darker color but yeah I think this looks really pretty so I think I'm going to take um a little bit 
of, let's see, I think the shade, see what color should we do in the inner corner? I think this is the only one that's really light enough to do on the inner corner. So although, I think a pop of that blue would be really pretty, but this one's called Salty. So let's take a little bit of this and let's put this on the inner corner and see how it looks. Oh, she looks cute. Maybe a little messy, but this is definitely like one of those, I don't want to call it more large particle, but you can definitely see the sparkles in it. It's not like metallic, you know? You can definitely see the sparkles in it. It's a really pretty blue though. It's almost like that bioluminescent color. Um, you know, I don't know if you're familiar with bioluminescence, but okay. I think that's enough as I continue to put sparkles on my eye. <laughs> oh, y'all give me all the sparkles. I don't, ugh, I don't like how it looks on this eye and I just can't want to keep adding more. It could just be the way the light's hitting it, but yes, that's right. Glow inner corner highlight to glow to the gods. Much better. Okay, so final thoughts of my first impression of this unearthly don't be jelly. Firstly, very pretty colors, right? I think the eye look came out beautifully. I think the real star of this show, like the real star in the shades that I used anyway, was this one right here, that multi-chrome, oh, it just looks so gorgeous on the lid. It did, it does, looks so pretty on the lid. Um, I like this, I'm gonna use it a lot more, honestly, because this is just a first impression, of course. Um, but I really like this look. I think that this look deserves pearls or sparkles. I may end up adding some on. If I do, I'll include a picture. Um, but yeah, I just think it looks so pretty. Uh, definitely worthy of lashes, but I just can't be bothered putting them on. But this is great. I like this. Thank you, Unearthly, for um, letting me win this giveaway as I smack myself in the face. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. I like it. So far, so good. So I'll keep playing with it, and I'll just do more Get Ready With, these, uh, get ready with Me's, and we'll just kind of go from there. All right, I love your faces. I will see you next time.